Hi everybody, welcome to Cut the Kibble. Today I'm going to do a dog food review on Purina Pro Plan puppy food. Now, I'm pretty sure this is across the board with Purina. You can check for yourself, do your own research, but right today I am going to do the video on uh, the puppy food. And it's really near and dear to my heart because my very best friend, just got a puppy after losing her German Shepherd for 10 years. And she knows me personally, and she knows how I home cook for my dog. And I know that she, and I know that you probably don't have time to do it, but I do give recommendations of commercial dog food to give to your puppy at the end of this video. And I've given it to her, and I'm just losing sleep over it. So let's get to it. Purina, who owns Purina these days? It's owned by Nestle. Yeah, this is the company that makes candy and cereal and now is into water. You know, it's a big conglomeration. And you know that dog food is huge money maker, especially now, the foreseen growth of a dog food company is huge because so many people the past few years because of COVID got a second or a third dog, you know. So uh, there's money to be made in dog food and companies cut corners like crazy. You know, I was bored last night because um, I don't have many channels here at the lake to watch TV. So I went on YouTube and I Googled Purina Pro, Pro Plan reviews, and I was just aghast of what came up. It was either just people getting on for two minutes and saying, my dog likes the food, so it's good. Well, yeah, you can take your kids to McDonald's every day and they're gonna like that too. Does it mean that it's good for them, okay? And then there was this vet who came on and all she did was talk about the guaranteed analysis of the food. Not once, not once did she mention the ingredients in the food. And that just horrified me because you know that I am all about ingredients. Food is medicine for your dog. Food builds a strong dog with strong immunity. But all this vet wanted to do was talk about guaranteed analysis based on AFCO. If you don't know what AFCO is, it's a company. It's not government regulated. Dog food is not government regulated. It's a company that sets minimal I repeat, minimal standards for dog food. And if your whole buck company can meet those minimal standards, it gets stamped AFCO approved. Big BFD, as I would say, all right? Because your dog is not your pet, he's part of your family. Would you feed your family a minimal meal, minimal ingredients? Why would you do that for your pet? Because you're saving money? You skip on food, you're gonna pay in the vet's office. I guarantee, I've had this little girl, she's over 12 years old, and I've been feeding her since she was seven months, and she only goes to vets for well visits and dentals. She's never gone for a sick visit because I feed her human grade food. So let's talk for a few minutes about um, this guaranteed analysis. First of all, when you go to the big, block, big box place <laughs> to buy food, first of all, you shouldn't go there because all they sell is crap. They got pro, Purina out the yin yang there. And you are just, you the, customer is just sucked in 
to the beautiful bags in the front with the beautiful dog and the fresh meat and the fresh vegetables. Stop, don't do it. Pick up the bag, turn it around and read the ingredients, okay? All that guaranteed analysis, it'll say protein. For this particular uh, dog food I'm talking about, it had 33% minimal protein. So you don't know how much protein is in that dog food because they only give you the minimal. Some give you, a, AFCO gives you a range, okay? For the fat, it had a minimum of, um, I don't think I wrote that one down, fiber, it had 3% max. Calcium, it had a minimum. No, if you're gonna buy commercial dog food, you should be able to know that this dog food has 40% protein and 5% fiber, whatever. Not this minimum. Companies need to be transparent about how much ingredients is put into the food and also transparent where they are getting their food. Just because it says made in America, is it sourced in America? I would bet you $100 that all those synthetic vitamins, and yes, they are synthetic, come from China. And I wonder where all the ingredients come from too. So let's, speaking of ingredients, let's look at the ingredients right now and, and discuss them. And then hold on, because I'm gonna tell you some dog food that you can give to your puppy that you can buy. All right. Okay, for purposes of this video, this is what I'm reviewing. Puppy chicken and rice formula. But I guarantee you it's the same in all of their food. All right, so let's first, I want to first talk about um, on the back of the, I don't know if it's on the back of the bag. Yeah, it is on the back of the bag. I got this off of Amazon. It says fortified with guaranteed live probiotics for digestive and immune health. That sounds fantastic. But wait a minute, how can a live probiotic withstand going through a drying process? The viability of a probiotic bacteria during the shelf life and drying process decreases considerably. So that's a bunch of BS right there. Okay, next thing, whoops, I thought that was a, uh, I'll get rid of that. Here we go here, DHA from omega-rich fish oil. Oh, it's good for the brain and, and vision development. That's true, but may I ask, will they say what type of fish oil it is? There's three types of fish oil. There's pet grade, human grade, and pharmaceutical grade. I give my dog human grade. Um, but pet grade fish oil is highly contaminated with mercury and other bad contaminants, but it's cheap. I, I would bet $100 that it's pet grade because when you go to the, the big box stores, they sell the fish oil and it's pet grade, all right? Again, this is just marketing BS, but let's look at the ingredients here. Okay chicken. Now, what else do we see? Okay, so after chicken, there's rice. What kind of rice is it? Is it brown rice? Is it white rice? We'll never know. Then there's poultry byproduct meal. What the heck is that? That is basically the waste from the slaughterhouse. So it can include beaks and feet. Okay, and then there's corn gluten meal. What is that? That's the rubbery residue once the corn has been all boiled out. And the interesting thing about that is that corn gluten meal contains 60% protein. So when you go to your analysis and you see how much protein is in this. Is it the protein from the chicken or is it the protein from this um, corn gluten meal? 
Hmm, interesting. And then let's see what else we have. Soybean meal. That is 100% GMO. All soybeans in the United States is sprayed with glyphosate. Glyphosate is a known carcinogenic, meaning it causes cancer to humans and to dogs. And then we have this corn, oh, whole grain corn, corn germ meal. Corn is a big N-O for dogs because corn can contain a mold called aflatoxins. It's an invisible mold that can kill dogs. Okay, so I lost my place here. Fish meal. Did we talk about that already? I don't know if we did. What type of fish is it? Has the fish been um, filtered to take away all the mercury? I Probably not. Um, there's that soybean oil that is GMO. And we're going to go way down here. All these vitamins are synthetic. They come from China. But I'm looking for one ingredient, this melodyne. And that's a controversial form of vitamin K that has been linked to liver toxicity. So I don't know why they have that in here. So really, when you look at this, what food is in here? Chicken and rice. I, I don't see anything else. I don't see any vegetables. I don't see any fruit. I don't see any whole fish. I don't see any beef liver. I don't see any beef heart. It's just a bunch of gobbledygook. So getting back to the vet and all these vets that uh, approve Purina Pro Plan, all their foods, for them, it's all about AFCO. And again, AFCO is, stands for the Association of American Feed Control. Notice it says feed, it doesn't say food because they just control feed for animals, okay? And that's different than human grade food. So this vet and a lot of vets, they wanna see that the food has gone through feeding trials. It's 26 weeks of feeding trials with dogs. But again, everything is minimal with AFCO. Only six dogs have to pass based on physical observation. That's it. There's no looking if they've gained weight or if they've lost weight. It's just physical op um, observation and it's only for six dogs. So wow. everything is just minimal. Hold on, I have to pick up Miss Bella. Again, I ask you, do you want something minimal for your dog? I know I don't. So I was gonna tell you, what foods can you give your dog, especially if your dog's a puppy, because that's a big one, you know. Puppy, what do I give my puppy? So now let me show you two foods that I would recommend that you give your puppy. All right, hold okay, on. You've heard me talk about Dr. Harvey's. I do not get any money from Dr. Harvey's. Um, anyway, Dr. Harvey's has two formulas for puppies. One is called Canine Health. Let's look at these beautiful ingredients. Now this does have a um, grain in it, but look at the other beautiful ingredients that it has. Um, it has green beans, beets, broccoli, parsley, uh, potatoes, carrots. Honestly, I am not a big fan of this, but they do say it is for puppies. The one that, and I'm not a fan because of all the different um, grains. I'm all for giving a puppy grain, but that's a lot of grain. The one that I would recommend is the Oracle. And look at these ingredients. There's chicken, sweet potato, carrots, potato, flaxseed, whole egg, pumpkin, broccoli, green beans, spinach, beets, cabbage, celery, kelp, coconut, blueberries, bananas, parsley. Wow. Now that's what I call ingredients. 
okay? Now with both those Dr. Harvey's formulas, you did not see protein in there. You have to go and buy your own protein and you could put it in raw or cook it up. It's really not that hard. You make these little meatballs, you weigh them out. And the beauty of it is, is that you can rotate your proteins, okay? If you buy the same Purina, it's a big bag, you have to finish that bag, and by the time it's halfway done, the oil's gonna make it rancid, and your dog's not gonna wanna eat it and can get sick. Whereas with this, it's dehydrated food, and one day you can give turkey, one day you can give beef, one day you can give salmon. Why not give your puppy a beautiful start in life to start his or her immune system all strong and get strong bones? You know, you're gonna pay more money, you are, but you are guaranteed to get a healthier dog. And by putting more money in the food, you're guaranteed not to be going to the vet. I mean, I have living proof. She's 12 years old. I've been feeding her since she's seven months old. And she only goes to the vet for well visits and for dentals. She's never been for a sick visit. So you decide. Again, vets are not taught about nutrition in school. Don't just take what your vet says or your breeder says as gospel. Do your own research. All right, that's it from Cut the Kibble.